Well, getting around town can be difficult without your own set of wheels. One Sioux Falls nonprofit works to provide rides to those who need them, but they run into some issues. As Kellerland's Rene Ortiz shows us, they have been dealing with recent car vandalisms and thefts. Project Car has been giving free rides to people in the Sioux Falls community for the past 42 years. I just love to drive, so that fits right in my wheelhouse. On a weekly basis, we serve uh, between 50 and 60 individuals, uh, providing around um, uh, three to 400 rides a week. The group uses five cars driven by 30 volunteers, but now that number of cars is down to four. Project Car has dealt with multiple car vandalisms and most recently a car theft. As you can see from the security footage, a person broke into one of the cars and drove away the evening of April 1st. The car was later found and returned a few days later, but police are still looking for the thief. I put a couple of new tires on it and it needs to be re-decaled and cleaned and new license plates and everything, but we should have it back up and running by next week. This is just the latest incident with their cars. Last month, Project Car had a catalytic converter stolen. Rick Laughlin has been a volunteer driver for the last few years. He says incidents like these make it harder to serve the community. This slows down our ability to, to provide the rides or, you know, cuts down our resources. Uh, you know, just has an impact on the, the people that, uh, that we serve. Project Car has enhanced security to try and prevent future problems. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. And Montgomery says that the nonprofit spends around $40,000 a year to insure, maintain, and fuel these cars. And you can find the link to their website online under this story on Kelloland.com.